Hello, welcome to Tech Transform. This is the continuation of Scala Basics. Uh, in my last uh, video, I have covered the Scala Basics Part One. This is the continuation of that, and let's uh, uh, see what are going to cover. We are going to cover in Scala Basics Part Two. We are going to cover flow statements, controls uh, in Scala. Then we are going to see how to write uh, switch switch-like statements, case-like statements in Scala. Then we are going to see how we are going to write for loop, then uh, while loop, then do while loop, then how we are going to evaluate exp how expressions uh, give a return uh, in a Scala if you're writing an expression and how it's going to treat and how it's uh, the functional programming concepts works. So let's get started. I prepared a document for that. What we're going to cover here is flow control. So let's start our terminal and go inside Scala prompt for that is Scala. So let's say I want to write something if one greater than two print ln just if else statement I'm try to show you for that you can if you want to give comment like in you can give like that flow control double slash by using double slash you can uh, double forward slash you can give uh, comment in a Scala so here I'm going to write this if else in one line if let's say one greater than three that is not possible for that let and then the curly bracket start print ln this is a simple in other programming language also how you're going how you're writing if else the same thing is also in a Scala uh, impossible then you have to end then start else then curly back start then print ln double quotes then it ends it's true so what we are doing here if uh, then the condition then the uh, parenthesis start whatever we want to execute I want to execute print and impossible then else so uh, we can do in the same same line so it's become because this this if uh, state this condition become false so it's went inside this else law so th and in Scala there is no else if like in other programming language here only if and else you can use only if and else there is no else if 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 you want to write this uh, this I have written in one line. If you want to write in a uh, in a new new line and to um, looks good for that, Scala uh, provide you dot uh, paste mode. It means uh, you can go inside paste mode, colon paste. There you can write uh, n number of lines. Then finally you can c press Control D. Then you can come out and the whole code gets executed. Mm -hmm. The same thing we can write in paste mode like if one greater than three. Okay. Print Ellen. Then braces end. Then else. Start. Print Ellen. True. Okay. And. So in paste mode we have completed this the code we are able to write if in normal in without paste mode you won't be able to write you can only write one line at a time. So if you have a, a more number of lines and you want to execute that you can utilize the colon paste mode in a Scala. Once you have written all the code if you want to come out this pa uh, uh, paste mode here see once we enter it's showing entering paste mode. Now we want to go out of this uh, paste mode and want to execute all the code at once for that I'm pressing control D. Okay, exiting paste mode. So become a so it's if all the code executed and we got we got this. It's true. Now let's see what is next. Yeah, so like switch uh, or case like switch in other languages we have here matching. <coughs> we can match for that. The syntax is so we are going to cover here matching <coughs> syntax. Let's say my, my variable is x is equal to three or let's say number is equal to 
okay oh for that we have to go inside paste mode because we have to execute more lines again I am declaring val number is equal to 3 we are taking one number then number match so this is the match is the opening braces then we have case 1 let's say if it's match to 1 case 1 ok double equal to this parameter is there print ln we can say 1 so this is our case one so follow the syntax uh, I have declared a variable called number equal to th 3 if you want to write switch like statements here so for that you have to number match match is a key uh, reserved keyword keyword for switch like statements in Scala number match then our case starts case 1 means number let's say 3 3 case it's going to match which with the case then we have we can write case 2 then double equal equal to and bracket print ln two okay then we have case three so case three is going to actually match here because our number value is three okay then let's say uh, in other switch statements we have else block let's say if anything is not matching for that we have a case underscore for not matching anything or else you can use underscore it's the syntax in Scala print ln we can say something else okay now we have ex now let's give the closing braces okay pressing I'm pressing control D to come out press uh, paste mode okay we have some uh, syntax issue here let me go again paste mode print L N you can't edit anything there so that's why I opened this here we have missed things print ln. here if you want to edit the go to next line you won't able to go so I'm pasting the correct code okay control D see what happens so number was 3 it matches to 3 so it's went inside there. let's we want to change this to to 4 so there is no case matching to this 4 so there will be there will be no match let's see what is going to happen okay so obviously our statement is going our match is going to happen in this else part because there is no matching case available control D see we got something else so this works okay now let's move to for loop yeah I'm entering in paste mode so that we can write more number of lines okay so paste uh, for loop syntax is for start your bracket then follow this x x less than dash basically x less than dash 1 2 4 and condition ends start of your this braces print ln let's say what is we have let's say I want to fi find the square and return it sqa rad is equal to x star x okay print ln squrd okay so uh, what is the syntax here is uh, this is for x then 
less than dash basically less than dash is a range operator in Scala so what it is going to do it's going to take value from 1 to 4 and assigning each time each value to x let's say 1 to 4 so it will assign x it will assign 1 first to x then 2 then 3 then 4 by this it is going to assign so this ca you can see also it's ten tending the value from here to there and this operator is actually range operator so for range 1 to 4 it is going to assign each iteration it is assign one value from that range and let's say for first uh, for the first iteration the x value will be 1 so a square of 1 into 1 1 let's enter then uh, control D I'm pressing to come out paste mode see it's executed and we got the print 1 4 9 16 up to 4 okay then we have while loops okay again entering the paste mode let's say where x is equal to 10 okay then we have condition while x greater than equal to 0 print ln x then we have to minus I am my I am minus 1 each time to the x otherwise it will go in into infinite loop okay so watch my code for I have declared a variable x equal to 10 then what I am putting condition while loop x greater than 0 because every time I am uh, subtracting 1 from from the 10 so 10 9 8 something like that and once it reaches to uh, 0 then minus 1 so condition will it's x greater than equal to 0 up to that this whole execution is uh, this is going to execute every time control D so it's got executed and see 10 9 10 and 1 0 we got the value so while loops completed and let's say uh, let's change the value of now we have do while loop okay <coughs> for do while loop the syntax is x is equal to 0 then the syntax is do okay what what we want to do I want to print I want to print the value of x and up while up to what this condition I have to specify x one thing I did mistake here I cannot go inside this print ln I have to increase the value let's say x is equal to 0 do what we want to do I want to print the value of x and I am adding each time I am adding 1 to the x okay my do I want to do this but I want to do up to what up to while I have to specify the condition while x less than equal to 10 I want to print up to because every time my x value was 0 and every time I am in increasing the value of x uh, by 1 then it will reach to 10 and it will go to after that also but we want to print up to what up to while x less than equal to 10 enter control D unit does not take parameters why what was the issue syntax to while x okay okay yeah so we, there there would be no uh, let's 
to edit here this should not be there this is not a syntax see the syntax is two then the press par <coughs> parenthesis starts so copy this go inside paste mode again x equal to 0 do you want I want to do this I want to print x then I am increasing x by value 1 up to what condition while x less than equal to 10 control D see we got the value starting from 0 it's able to increase x equal to 1 1 1 it's doing but this condition is met this condition fails so after that it is not going to print so that's what all the basics I have covered and one more thing we have expressions so return the final value in a block automatically so what happens in Scala it's different from other programming languages here you're writing expression let's say your parenthesis start and you have couple of expressions inside this by uh, separated with semicolon so this is going to give you output in other programming language if you if you run like this you won't get any output the, but this expression is going to return return me what it is going to return me it is going to return the very last expression in s the very last expression it is going to return so let's say val x equal to 10 then x plus 20 become 30 so this whole expression is going to return evaluate the last value last statement and it is going to return this last statement statement so you can s so here we can have a clue how this Scala is a functional programming language so s here the expression is also returning the value in other programming it's not like that so we can s we can say like that it is also a functional programming because it's the expression is returning a value and we can later in the other upcoming videos we are going to see how it's functional programming by uh, utilizing this uh, C utilizing this uh, expression evaluation so let's try to evaluate this okay see you are going to get output the output become 30 if you want to specify println you can do like that okay see we are going to get this value means this expression is evaluating and the very last statement in the expression is the output of that particular expression so this is the very cool feature and uh, and that's what the power of functional programming so we have covered a lot of things not a lot of things basic things we have covered flow control if else else if then we saw how to uh, write more than n number of lines in paste mode of scala cell then we uh, we so we, we saw the matching operator in Scala like switch in other languages we saw for loops how to start for to write for loops we saw while loops we saw do while loops and finally we saw expressions how express expressions returns the final value in a block automatically so that's all for this video I am coming with other basics parts as I'm going to create next session thanks for watching have a good day bye